Silicon Valley Bank just collapsed. As I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware about, there is some contagion that is starting to surface, such as Roku having about 26% of its cash uninsured with SVB Bank, amounting to about $460 million. USDC had about 15% of their backing of USDC stablecoin in you guessed it, SVB Bank. Now, the government says they're not going to come in and save the day. Your uninsured deposits are essentially screwed. This is a problem, and this could cause some forced share recalls. And that's really what I want to focus on here in this video, is how this bank uncertainty could affect AMC very positively. So... We're going to get into that. We are also going to look at a stark new warning from Bill Ackman, essentially saying all hell is about to break loose if the government does not come in and reassure uh, uninsured deposits will be okay. So the work is cut out for us here in this video, guys. Let's get into it. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I don't know what you are doing or what you are waiting for. It's free 99. So uh, I'm just going to assume you guys potentially know most of the backstory behind SVB. If you don't, I'll give you a quick rundown. So SVB essentially had bought a bunch of bonds, right, at very low interest rates at a, about a 1.8 to 1.9 average yield. Well, now when the Fed has continued to raise rates, which nobody really suspected at the beginning of, of 2022, we didn't expect a four and a half percent federal funds rate in a year that's not something that has really ever happened besides Paul Volcker era now when they bought these bonds at a 1.8 1.9 yield if they held them to maturity that would be a-okay but just like a dividend stock if you bought a dividend stock at a 1.8 percent yield and the company never cut the dividend they never raised the dividend they, it just stayed the same well if that dividend is now 4 or 5%, that means the stock price went down. Bond prices went down substantially in 2022. One of the worst years ever for bond investors. So SVB had a bunch of unrealized losses. Well, when people wanted some of their money back, right? And when SVB had to pay 4% on deposits because, hey, you can go buy a treasury bond that pays you that, that is essentially risk-free. Well, 1.8% yield compared to a 4% yield, that's a big difference. So they had to start selling some of their bonds at big losses. They tried to raise capital, it spooked investors, and the bank failed in 48 hours. The fastest bank failure that we have ever seen. It's a backstory, right? Now, you're seeing the contagion effects. Roku says $487 million. I, I thought it was $460. $487 million is stuck in Silicon Valley Bank. And guess what? They're not getting that back. Pretty tough. USDC breaks its peg because $3.3 billion are stuck in SVB. Guess what? They're not getting that back. This situation is worse than a lot of people think or worse than they really want to tell you. There's a reason why this bank failed in 48 hours and the FDIC stepped in to at least make sure that the uh, insured deposits of $250,000 or less per person per account would be secured no 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 you guys might be wondering how can this lead to for share recalls well it's really simple you have fear to the degree that you have not seen since 2008 within the banking sector now when banks start to fail what's the first thing that happens with other banks or i should say what's the first thing other banks do when their peers start to fail. And specifically, SVB was not a small bank. I mean, it wasn't one of your largest banks, but it was the 16th largest bank, the second biggest bank failure of all time. This was bigger than Bear Stearns, for an example. And you guys probably remember, that. some of you guys might remember that, right? Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, uh, Washington Mutual in 2008. So first thing they do, 
First thing these banks do, J.P. Morgan, Citi, Bank of America, PNC, all these big banks, and, and mid, especially the mid-tier banks like First Republic and right, so on and so forth, they start to recall their riskiest loans. They're loans that potentially might not get paid back if all things went bad. They, in worst cases, start to freeze some deposits, which I'm surprised SVB did not do that. But banks really start to buckle down. They, they start to try to shore up their balance sheets to get as much cash as possible because this could get much worse before it ultimately gets better. So what does that mean for hedge fund positions, especially uh, some of your riskiest positions? Well, the banks are probably going to start recalling those. Now, it does not happen overnight. It takes some time, usually 72 hours. Maybe they even give them a week. But you'll see some of those positions starting to be recalled. Those positions that are backed, you know, with loans, hundreds of millions of dollars, banks aren't going to want to have that kind of exposure to uh, arguably the riskiest trade in the stock market which is being short on amc and playing this arbitrage trade for the vote on march 14th so from my perspective here it looks very likely that a four share recall could be right around the corner now SVB had its falling out around Wednesday, right? Wednesday, Thursday, that's when shit really started hit the fan. Thursday is when things got really bad, right? Well, you're going to be rolling on Monday. So you might actually start to see those four share recalls early in this week. So potentially tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, when I would expect to see uh, those riskier positions getting recalled because that's what it comes down to banks want to make sure they have the capital necessary if there is a bank run on deposits more than 250,000 because essentially you're not safe if your bank goes bk and you got you know a lot of money in the bank that's not good right and i don't think people are too concerned about like jp morgan bank of america city they have very large just everyday kind of workers depositing their money in the bank so a lot of their money is secured and average people they're not really going to cause a bank run at least hopefully not but businesses that might bank with second tier banks or third tier banks because maybe they're lending requirements were lower to try to bring in some business well duh, that's really what you got to worry about those guys might actually uh, pull out their capital and that becomes a problem because a lot of banks not just svb a lot of banks are underwater on their bond portfolios and a lot of banks have a majority of their assets in bonds so you can start to see how this situation could rapidly escalate into something that is not so good um for the markets for banks for hedge funds for businesses for really nobody involved the last thing you want to see even the doomsday you know preppers of the stock market that want to see the markets go to complete shit i mean you don't want to see the banks fail again that's that i mean that that affects more than just the stock market that affects uh you know people's livelihoods families and millions of families not something you want to see so i don't want to hear or, or see i should say anyone calling for this to happen down below in the comment section especially not with like large banks and because you just don't want to wish that on other people but nonetheless when banks start to batten batten down the hatches you can start to see four share recalls pretty quickly and i think it's uh, a safe assumption to say that you will see four share recalls on short positions and overall positions in stocks like amc quote unquote meme stocks before you would see them on healthcare oil staples right even technology uh really any other sector these these quote unquote meme stocks they are the riskiest stocks to be in because I mean, if you're short on AMC right now, AMC is in a bullish uptrend. You do have a March 14th vote around the corner, which is going to be happening this week, that is probably going to cause a pretty bullish overall reaction with AMC's share price. So I think a four share recall is almost with certainty going to start happening. Now, how explosive is it? Does it lead to a rally in and of itself, or does it couple with you know the march 14th vote that is the hard part to actually say 
but nonetheless, uh, going to be very, very exciting. Now, let's get into this warning from Bill Ackman. He says, there is an economic meltdown that could follow the Silicon Valley bank collapse. He posted a 649-word, one-paragraph tweet uh, Saturday. The billionaire predicted that uninsured bank customers would rush to withdraw cash Monday unless the government steps in to guarantee their funds and, quote, fix a soon-to-be irreversible mistake. The 16th largest bank in the U.S., which provided financing for the large chunk of the country's venture-backed tech and health companies was taken over by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Friday as its stock plummeted due to liquidity concerns tied to rising interest rates. It marked the largest bank collapse since the 2008 financial crisis and it stranded billions of dollars belonging to companies and investors whose deposits in excess of 250000 are not covered by the FDIC. Absent JP Morgan, Citi, Bank of America acquiring SVB before the open on Monday, a prospect I believe to be unlikely, or the government guaranteeing all of SVB's deposits, the giant sucking sound you will hear will be the withdrawal of su substantially all uninsured deposits from all but the systemically important banks, Ackman wrote. So basically saying second and third tier banks are going to be screwed if there is not some kind of backstop put in place. And I think to some degree that is correct. You've seen banks like First Republic and other more second tier banks come out and, and, and try to reassure investors that they are no SVB, which in fact they are not. But this could turn into bank after bank after bank going bankrupt. If you start to see these large deposits over $250,000 start to get pulled out of these banks, because after all, the banks don't have that kind of money sitting in the bank. It's in the treasuries, right? It's in other investments. It's lent out. So when you got to start selling assets like bonds that you're potentially down 40, 50% on like SVB, hopefully not other banks, right? Hopefully better other banks timed the bond market a little bit better. But assuming they did not, well, that's going to be an epic shit show. So I think either way you put this, potentially bad things coming for banks, right? Janet Yellen says they're not going to bail out the banks. They're not going to bail out SVB. They're not going to ensure uh, deposits will be safe, right? Quote, we're not going to do that again. Yellen says no bailout for Silicon Valley Bank. Quote, we are, <coughs> ugh, we are concerned about depositors and we're forced on trying to meet their needs. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said. So it's not looking so good, guys. Uh, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. That is the scoop that you need to know as far as when four share recalls could actually start or happen or what kind of effect they will have on AMC. Hard to say. But I think it's going to happen in this upcoming week. I think you will see a lot of pressure uh, on these hedge funds, especially coming down to March 14th, as their loans do start to get recalled by the banks because they are the riskiest kind of loans that you could have, period. So that is going to do it for this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.